Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking to the afflictions of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church, of which I am a minister in accordance with God's stewardship given to me.
to bring to completion for you the Word of God, the mystery hidden from ages and from generations past. But now it has been manifested to His holy ones, to whom God chose to make known the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. It is Christ in you, the hope for glory. It is He whom we proclaim, admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. For this, I labor and struggle in accord with the exercise of His power working within me. For I want you to know how great a struggle I am having for you and for those in Laodicea and all who have not seen me face to face, that their hearts may be encouraged as they are brought together in love to have all the richness of assured understanding for the knowledge of the mystery of God, Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In God is my safety and my glory. In God is my safety and my glory. Only in God be at rest my soul. For from Him comes my hope. He only is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be disturbed. In God is my safety and my glory. Trust in Him at all times, all my people. Pour out your hearts before Him. God is our refuge. In God is my safety and my glory. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, O Lord, give joy to my heart. Your teaching is night to my eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a certain Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and taught, and there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely to see if he would cure on the Sabbath so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he realized, he realized their intentions and said to the man with the withered hand, Come up and stand before us. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? Looking around at them all, he then said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. I was once asked by a dear friend, a classmate in college, regarding a certain ritual that her mother-in-law was asking her 
she told me, Father, ano ibig sabihin ng too big, trigo, at asin na pinapalagay sa akin sa altar? So I asked her, Ah, lilipat bahay kayo. Sabi niya, hindi father, nung matagal na kami dito sa bahay, pero hinanapan ako sa altar ng aking mother-in-law at hindi ko alam ano ibig sabihin nun. Kasi kako ginagawa lang yun kapag naglilipat bahay. So, she told me, so walang ibig sabihin yun sa Bible. Ayokong gawin kung wala namang ibig sabihin. Kasi sabi niya, sundin ko daw kasi wala namang masama kapag sinunod yung gawain ng matatanda. And so I reflected, ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng pagpreprepare ng asin, tubig, trigo no, sa bahay? Because I, also, I saw that that same um, ritual my mother did no, noong, um, lumipat kami, noong, noong lumipat kami ng bahay dito sa nung may bagong bahay kami dito sa Maynila. And I was reflecting on it. And actually, there are symbols of necessities in home, in a home. No? Too big, kailangan natin as a necessity. Oil symbolizes healing, symbolizes also light, no? in the biblical sense. No? Bam. No? And of course, salt symbolizes um, flavor for food and at also at the same time, Um, preservation from corruption. So these are placed in a home, especially yung mga bagong lipat, actually in order to ask God, to invoke God's intervention that these may never run out. No? Hindi, hindi ito mawawalan dito sa bahay na ito. Actually, that is the meaning of it. No? Pero kako, no? di na kailangan ng oil minsan dahil meron ng liwanag. No? Di na kailangan ng oil as a balm for healing dahil meron ng mga katin ko, meron ng efficacent oil. No? And of course, we still need grain. No? And also sometimes coins, no? money, and of course, water. No? And upon telling it to her, no, somehow, thank you, Father, no? I am somehow enlightened now and I see the meaning behind it. No? that this is placed in the altar with the invocation no, as a sacramental, asking God that these necessities in life may never run out from this house. And she thanked me a lot. Wala na siya doon sa pag-iisip na gawin ito dahil wala namang masama no, kapag ito ay ginawa. Why am I telling you this, mother, brothers and sisters? In our gospel reading today, Jesus was confronted also with a tradition in the Jewish culture wherein on the seventh day, as it is said in the book of Genesis, God rested and so man should also rest. No? Dahil lang Diyos ay nagpahinga sa ikapitong araw ng isang linggo, dapat magpahinga rin ang tao. Wala siyang gagawin ni kung ano. And this is one of the contention during Jesus' time wherein si Jesus was doing a lot of miracles in the Sabbath because he was teaching on the day of Sabbath. A lot of contentions no? na parang Jesus was breaking a rule. No? Jesus was somehow defying the tradition, the law of the Sabbath. And in our gospel reading, we heard one of the many, many parang bridge ni Jesus sa Sabbath. No? This is how the scribes and the Pharisees interpreted it. Wala ka dapat pwedeng gawin. Wala nga ba? Jesus was asking them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? He was questioning the status quo. 
the law of the Sabbath is not for man to prevent no? showing the glory of God. Not to prevent man from doing good because the law of the Sabbath, no? which is the third commandment, no? you must remember to keep holy the Sabbath day, is actually derived from the two ultimate laws. No? Ano yung two ultimate laws? Love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. And so Jesus was telling them, no? parang mali ang inyong interpretation. The way we interpret this commandment should be reflected on the higher truth. And what is this higher truth? Loving our neighbor. Loving God. Same as how my classmate was asking, ano ba ibig sabihin itong pagpre-prepare ng grain, salt, at oil? It is a what? A manifestation of the love of God. No? That we rely everything from God. That's why we put, no? these symbols of necessities, not for the sake of pamahiin, but actually a sacramental signifying that God may never allow this house to run out from these necessities. In the same manner, ganun din po sana for us on how we interpret laws. The way we interpret laws may always be reflected of that higher law, the two ultimate law, loving God and loving one's neighbor. Jesus looked with mercy on this person with withered hand. Na ginawa niya ang linggo para ipakita ang kalwalhatian ng Diyos sa araw ng pamamahinga. It doesn't prevent him from doing what is good. Rather, it showed, no? It showed his love for his neighbor. Loving one's neighbor does not make us, you know, less love God. It doesn't mean that we less love God less if we love our neighbor. And St. Augustine would tell us no, that by order of command, no, by order of command, we should always love God first, always. But by order of action, we should always first love our neighbor because they are the images of God. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, for this Holy Mass, I think it is good to ask ourselves, no? are we challenging the way how we interpret our traditions? Are we challenging in such a way that they are reflection of that bigger or greater commandment of the love of neighbor and love of God. O baka naman, ginagawa lang natin itong mga tradition na ito bilang pamahiin. Na sumusunod na lang tayo dahil sabi eh, wala namang masama kapag sinunod natin ito dahil ito rin ang sinabi ng mga matatanda. No, no it loses its meaning when we do not know already how to connect it with that greater commandment. Even putting on face mask, my dear brothers and sisters, now that it is, it is a law, is a reflection of our love of what? Neighbor. The simple not littering, no? is an expression of our love of neighbor. The simple following of the traffic rules is a simple in reinterpretation of the love of neighbor. The law of Sabbath may ask us no, to love God, but we should love at the same time those who need most our care. 
just how Jesus showed his concern to the withered man when he healed him on the Sabbath. Amen. For us Christians, there is no higher law than the gospel commandment of loving God and neighbor. Let us affirm this belief as we pray for the needs of each other, each member of the church, as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may always be renewed and purified by the words of Christ's gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those in authority may be guided by wisdom when making decisions and setting priorities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our worship may reflect our sincerity and dedication to the humble service of God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may bring hope to the despairing and comfort to the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may now rest in the company of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you search our hearts and you know our innermost thoughts. Inspire our hearts for more sincere worship and our hands for more willing service to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises are nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called for the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof. but only but say, say the, the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endowed with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may you so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Liman da ang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punla Misyong kaloob sa ating puso, aming sarili ay aming handog, laging tapat at laging tugon, naririto handa kami, Panginoon.